Hey guys, so let's get ready to learn male grooming. This is gonna be the no makeup look male grooming. I, yes, there are some of us that like to be beat to the gods as men, but this is gonna be for the subtle look that would be for like a magazine cover or something, just something that looks like it's just him. No one should know that he is wearing makeup. So that's the look we're doing today. So first we wanna start off with cleansing the skin really well. We wanna get off all the oils and dirt because oil and dirt are just gonna make your job harder. You're gonna to have to retouch them all the time, keep powdering them. And we wanna work as minimal as possible. So I'm just gonna take this cleanser. Now remember, if you're doing a guy and he just got his hair cut and you're going on stage right after, you have gotta be really careful with that hairline. If you're not the barber and there's another barber, you can get your hand smacked by touching his line. So you wanna be really, really careful around this hairline if it's already been shaped. So around the hairline, I'm just gonna take my finger and go really straight lines across the edge, being sure not to touch his hairline. And then I'm just gonna use small circular motions, kinda cleanse the skin, lifting all dirt and oil, wiping across his eyes, his eyelids. The eyelids get really greasy. So we wanna get all the oil off. Under the nose gets really oily. So once we get all the dirt off, we're gonna hydrate the skin because we stripped it. Now we need to hydrate. So I'm just gonna take a little moisturizer, usually a light moisturizer or oil-free moisturizer is really great for guys. And I'm just gonna rub that in gently on his skin, tapping around the eyes. Remember, even on guys, we're never ever pulling on the skin. So our next step is gonna be to just do a spot check. That's what I like to call it. So we're just gonna search the face, see if there's any areas that need a little cover up, and just show only those areas a little love. So we'll start out, there's a small blemish here. His skin is for the most part really good. The skin is really nice, you do not wanna add too much on the no makeup look. So I'm gonna dip my brush and a little foundation that matches his skin tone as close as possible. I'm gonna dab it on that section. Right now you see you can see it. Then I'm gonna take a buffer brush and I'm gonna buff it into the skin in that section. The buffer is what keeps it looking like natural skin. If you leave it and just kind of tap it on, it's gonna sit on top of the skin. It's gonna be noticeable. Under a HD camera, it's gonna stand out. Under a flash, it's gonna reflect. So you wanna make sure you just buff that into the skin. So with guys, it's not about completely covering their blemishes. What you're gonna wanna do is just soften the blemishes because the lighting will do the rest for you. Again, check in the face for any flaws or blemishes. I'm noticing that he's a little red around his eyes. So I'm just gonna take a little bit of the foundation, dab it in that little area, and gently buff it off. As you can see, it's a subtle but definite change. Usually, men are red around their noses, so we wanna make sure we get that kind of hit that redness around there. Again, it's not about completely covering, it's about softening. A lot of times guys, you know, they can be a little tired too, so you wanna give them a little concealer. We just don't want them to look like they're wearing concealer. You can either use a concealer or you can use a foundation color that's slightly lighter. The reason why I like to use foundation on men as opposed to concealer is because men get really sweaty, so you kind of want something a little more full coverage that'll kind of hang on. So dabbing right under the eye, but just buffing as opposed to patting. Almost like you're buffing it away. And then sometimes on guys, let's just say you're doing male grooming and he doesn't have a completely fresh haircut. So you'll see like there's a little darkness right here where his hair is underneath the surface of the skin trying to grow back in. We're just gonna take our foundation brush once again, tap that little area so no one knows, and buff it out. 
now it looks like he has a fresh hairline. You can see the difference between the side that we worked on and the side that we didn't. He kind of just looks a little more refreshed, a lot younger, less tired, but not done. So we could probably do that same step right here at his widow's peak. Have my buffer brush in hand ready to go. I'm gonna cover that widow's peak, making sure not to mess up his nice tight hairline that his barber might have done. And we're just gonna buff that away. And I'm just gonna take my buffer brush just to make sure, go all over the face, leaving the product that's already on there, not adding anymore. Again, we don't want him to be too dumb. We want him to look like he does not have any makeup on. So once you get the skin even and the way that you want it, I usually will take a spoolie brush and I'll start brushing all the little hairs on his face, his eyebrows, his mustache. I usually just like to bend the brush at an angle just so I can have better control. We're gonna brush the brows up and over because no one wants to see a guy with Oscar the Grouch eyebrows. We want him to be clean and neat. And then take this, brush everything downward. And you see here, it looks like his beard connects a little more here than it does on this side. So just to slightly fill in his beard, we don't want it to look like he's wearing any makeup. We don't want it to look like we tried to fill in his beard. So we're gonna mix a little black and a little brown together. Dab off the extra, take in tiny little strokes. And then we're gonna take the spoolie end of the brush and just brushing it out. This is gonna soften that line so that it looks more natural. Again, making little hair strokes with our angle brush and then brushing them through with the spoolie side. There's a few little holes in here that could actually stay like that to have a clean, natural, soft look. Or some guys like theirs to be all even. So what you would do, making tiny little hair strokes and brushing them down. So what I noticed is that he has a little extra hair here than he does on this side. So this is looking a little too dark. Easy fix. I'm just gonna take that same makeup remover, wipe. I'm just gonna dab that area just to soften it a little bit. So if you get a little heavy handed, it's okay. Just clean it up. So the next step is we want him, we wanna kinda mat his face down just a little bit. We're gonna, you can use like an anti-shine, a primer, pore filler. Squeeze a little bit out, rub it through on the tips, and pat it in any hot spots. So usually guys get hot around their eyebrows, the sides of their noses, definitely those eyelids. And if we need a little more, do so. This is translucent, so you can use what you need. Just some of the anti-shines, if you use too much, it'll actually look ashy. So just use a little at a time. Don't overdo it. But we're just removing shine. So you see the shine here on his nose. As soon as we wipe it, it's dull. I see shine in this temple area. Boom, gone. So now we're gonna finish it with a little translucent powder. Um, you could either use um, a powder puff, um, a powder brush, a fluffy one, a small one. I think I'm gonna do both of these. So I'm doing a translucent powder. So it's gonna be really sheer, shaking off the excess powder, doing small circular motions. Close your eyes. All over the face. And then I'm gonna take this brush for detail, the smaller brush, hit those eyelids and just kind of get those fine spots that are harder to get to. So once you have the powder, sometimes the face goes a little bit too matte. That's normal. All you do to fix that is you're gonna put like a finishing spray. Um, the one I'm gonna use today is a matte finishing spray. So it's gonna do two things. It's gonna bring the skin back, refresh the skin, make it look supple and hydrated again. And it's also gonna set all the foundation and powder that you use. So I'm gonna have him close his eyes and I'm gonna do a quick spritz all over his face. I usually take a fan and dry it completely into the skin. So once the face is completely dry, I'm just gonna take a clean powder puff and I'm gonna just press 
what this is doing is absorbing any leftover moisture, but it's gonna keep him with a nice, healthy glow. So now you wanna finish off with a little lip balm, make sure their lips are really hydrated. I usually put a little extra because by the time, you know, your guy gets out the door, it's gonna absorb. And I'm just gonna glide that across the entire lip. And it's always good to maybe keep a chapstick handy that's specifically for that one guy that he could keep in his back pocket. Um, sometimes when you add powder, it gets on the lashes, close your eye. So I'm just gonna dust the lashes, make sure there's no leftover powder. Dust through his beard, brush it downward, brush his brows up and out. So you'll know that your male grooming look is complete when his skin looks like he does not have any foundation on, when his skin looks healthy, glowing and supple, his lips look hydrated, all the hairs are brushed in the proper direction. So those are all the steps you need for a no makeup look for male grooming. So if you guys try this look and you want to post it and tag me, I'd be happy to see it.